Hi, I'm Amanda Walker with E380, and I'm joined by Sim Ogle, the GIS IT manager with the Port of Portland. Sim, thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure. Nice Great. To meet you. So, tell me a little bit about what it means for the Port of Portland to be a consolidated port. What it means is that the Port Authority operates airports and ports and owns a huge inventory of property. So, we operate three airports and four ports. And how does GIS support the airport side? Uh, we provide an enterprise system that gives uh, about 400 users a week out of 700 staff access to all the infrastructure in the airport and we do a lot trying to automate paper processes into digital processes. Okay, so then on the other side, how is GIS helping to support the port side? Yeah. We do a lot, it's a very different business line, but we do a lot with uh, maintaining uh, the, the shipping channel. So we look at dredging, we look at historical sites where we've dredged in place dredge materials that's very important from an environmental perspective. So can you tell us which specific Esri technologies you're using in your work? Yeah, we use the entire server suite. That's kind of the heart of our system. Arc SDE for databases, uh, ArcGIS Pro for analysis, ArcGIS Desktop for analysis, Collector. Um, we try and use everything, to be honest, but that's kind of the core of our system. And what kind of specific benefits do you get from those products? I think um, the server side and the database side allows us to have real-time data. So as people edit, we have real-time, basically, uh, real-time changes available in all of our services. Thank you so much for stopping by to share your story with us and teach us a little bit more about how the port is using GIS. Thank we you. Thank it was you. a pleasure. Absolutely. Thanks.